Now you look like one of us. But your shoes betray you. These have gotten me out of a lot of scrapes. Where I go, they go. The kicks stay. So it shall be. Here, you'll also need this. It's a map of Athia. It should aid you on your journey. Here, I've marked the Cognizance Guild. Perfect. Maybe you should grab an apple. An apple a day. We'll keep Frey's hunger at bay. Such a poet. So, how do we get to this Cognizance's guild place? If I'm reading the peasant girl's... Correctly, we'll need to leave the city by the south gate. All right, let's get going then. So, you're guild bound, I hear. Guess you hear a lot of things. That I do. There's not a lot happens in this town I don't come to know of eventually. Huh. No idea if he can be trusted, but we might as well see what he can tell us, wouldn't you say? The Cognoscents used to study things we mere mortals couldn't hope to understand. Old Treaty used to say that one of their books was worth more than a hundred loaves of bread. That's all I get from the guy who knows everything? I told you, it's town I know about. And that place wasn't inside the city walls last time I checked. Come on, it was better than nothing. Poor chap. Horn's a bit earnest, but she's got her head screwed on, and you won't find a kinder soul in Sir Paul. Granted, there are those who think she sometimes sticks her nose in where it doesn't belong. If you can add me to that list, that's for certain. But Dad, Robian, he was well respected enough that everybody knows her heart must be in the right place. Used to be a very good customer of mine, that one. Don't you think you've had enough for one lifetime? Now that's what I'm talking about. Some complex flavors going on here. Hmm. Connoisseur, are we? All right, come on. Don't hold out on me. What's the secret ingredient? Hey, I can't tell you that. It's more than my job's worth. Well, suit yourself. Orden's putting a lot of faith in you, you know. I didn't ask her to. Oh, charming. Well, me seeing you again soon. This is the only pub in town, after all. <laughs> What's this? It's a partha from Janoon. So they're like Athian dice? They're made of animal bones. You roll one, and if it lands on one of the little symbol things, <laughs> you're in for a lucky day. Wow, sounds fun. Oh, that's all it is. No one takes it too seriously. Go on, give it a go. Wow, 
Oh, where'd you look at that? Again, eh? You like that place, don't you? Do I? Huh, I guess the vibe in there is acceptable. Oh, to be young and a familiar face at the local drinking hole. Yeah. Pray, lend me your ears. I have a fine song to play you. Very well. Then allow me to regale you with... The Ballad of the Enormously Clever Person of Sipal. Is that really the best title he could come up with? Well, did it speak to your soul? Did the doleful melody conjure images of the encroaching miasma, the unearthly cries of its foul denizens? The unlucky inhabitants of this fair city, myself among them, cursed, never again to venture beyond its walls. Again? Have you ever been out there? But of course. What manner of minstrel would I be? Did I not go wandering over hill and dale? <laughs> In my dreams, of course. <clears throat> you, Bart! Escaped criminals roam the streets, and still you do not cease your racket. There is a crisis afoot. Forgive me, but there is always a crisis afoot. Well, you may have a point there, but nonetheless... She's a guard, Frey. We need to get out of here, now. I, uh, guess I'll be on my way then. Wait. You. You're... So sorry to see you go, fair maiden, but go you must. And quickly. <clears throat> that was a little too close for comfort. But we got away, thanks to the fop. Dream wanderings indeed. Yeah, and that song. What the hell even was that? Sorry about this one. He's not the bravest. It's not often we see an unfamiliar face. <laughs> Where did you spring from? Hey, hey! Are you the girl I heard about? The one who came from outside the city? What's it like out there? Come on! Tell me, tell me! I wanna know! Oh, wait. My mum says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. <laughs> they really took the whole medieval thing and ran with it here, huh? <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, except when it came to you. I mean, come on, can you be and vow it up a little bit? Wait, wait! Where are you going, children? You're... It's him, from the council. No, no, wait. I won't call the guards. I promise. Violence solves nothing, surely you know that. Knowledge. Knowledge is the answer. It nourishes, sustains. He does have the look of a man who knows his onions. Shall we see if we can get anything useful out of him? Might as well. Hey, old guy, about this knowledge of yours? Why would you ask such a question? Wait, you've been talking to Auden, haven't you? Honestly, that child. I suppose it was only to be expected that she would inherit Robian's sense of justice and Callista's dauntless spirit. You know her? But of course. I, too, am a cognizant, just like her father. He and I are old friends. The guilds were once great centers of learning, 
They hold many powerful secrets. You wish to know the history of our land? Why, this is just what I was trying to teach those ungrateful children before they deserted me. Where to begin? You know, at least, that there are four Tantas who watch over Athia. They each establish realms, mold it in their own image, over which they ruled as they saw fit. All was as they decreed it should be. The climate, the landscape, the means by which their people lived. Yeah, that'll do. Thanks. <laughs> it's no wonder the children ran for the hills. No, no, I, wait! I said I would not call the guards, and I meant it. I wish to know more of you, that I might make an informed judgment of your character. My fellow council members' wariness of you is to be understood. Belette remains faithful to Tanta Prav, and Dax to Tanta Sila. So that's why they're all so damnably set in their ways. But my memories of my own ruler, Tanta Olas, are vague. I know not why exactly. What would she have made of your appearance in our land, I wonder? The answer to that question escapes me. I am a man of my word. I will not call the guard. But Sepal is not so big a city that you will escape detection forever. Promise me, at least, that you will make your escape with the minimum of violence. I doubt there are many places for criminals to hide in a town this small. Yeah, not much in the way of crowds to slip into either. A cat. I'm so glad they have cats in Athia too. Where is it going? What's the plan then? Wow, that is a ton of junk right there. I suppose there's nowhere else to put it all if they can't leave town. Wait, it stopped. You let me here on purpose, didn't you? Homer, but you're cute. Um. That soup they served us today didn't taste of anything at all. Huh. And that rotten councilman said we'd get the same food as the upper city. A likely story. Liars, the lot of them. Tell me a story. Well, that was a short trip. How the hell do you get out of this dump anyway? I know a way. 
You. You been following me, kid? No. But I know how to help you. Really? I know everything around here. Mm-hmm. And what's that gonna cost me? An apple, maybe? So you have been following me? Sure. You seem hungry. Just follow me. Don't you want to know my name? Not really. It's Olivia. And you're Frey. Everyone's been talking about you. I guess I'm kind of famous around here. Does famous mean hunted by the gods? I call it finders keepers. Damn. Did you steal all this stuff? Not all of it. You're growing on me, kid. Sometimes people have no idea what they're throwing away. I often make new things out of this stuff. Here. If you get hurt, this will help you heal. All right. Nice. You'll have to give me the recipe. Of course. Let me teach you how. Try it. People really do throw a lot of stuff away, huh? Yes, a lot of useless rubbish. Wait, this might come in handy. Hey, Shorty. I got you something. That thing you said isn't worth crap. No, not my cell phone. And thanks for not swiping that again. I don't steal from friends. Friends? Cool. Uh, well, as your friend, I got you this. Wow. What is that? Are you a taunter? <laughs> it's a pen light, and... No, I'm not a taunta. I... What's the deal with those guys anyway? They were the strongest and most powerful woman in Athia. They all had gifts. And in the past, they used them to help protect the land. And one day, they will again. They'll come and save us. Uh, listen, kid. From personal experience, you gotta look out for yourself. People only really get saved in fairy tales. You're wrong. You'll see. All right, well, uh, I got a split. Um, you said you knew the best way out of this place? Well, if you climb over that wall there, that should help you get to where you want to be. Cool. Thanks. I'll, uh, see you when I see you. I'll keep the city safe while you're gone. Sure. You do that. You 
you like cats, don't you, Frank? Me too. Tonta's blessings be upon you. You. You are the escapee. Please, I beg of you, do not harm the children. Why don't your trust issues extend to the street urchin, I wonder? Because I've been there, all right? Let's just leave it at that. What the hell are these things? Are they people? I believe this is what happens when humans are affected by the break. Then I can't kill them. What choice do you have? It's either them or you. Ah! So this is what Auden meant when she said people who come out here don't make it very far. Explains why the people of Sepul prefer staying in some of those rules. Finders keepers. Better than nothing, I suppose. I'll be the judge of that. I feel like I can breathe easier when Sepal comes into view. Because fresh supplies are close at hand? No, because there are actual human beings there. Whoa, do you feel that? Those are powerful magical energies indeed. Why not dive in and see what happens? Really? In there? What the hell was that? Did 
something happen? I don't know. I feel more powerful, I think. Well, more power is always a good thing. Needn't have worried about you coming out of that one unscathed. Aw, oh, you were worried about me. Only in as much as I'm done for if you get yourself killed. Ha! Might as well pocket this. Watching that, right? Oh, absolutely. Like a hawk. <laughs> well, this doesn't look good. Yes, something seems to have drawn the break here. But I expect you can clear it away with your powers. Give it a try. This time, let's try to steer clear of cute animals. Noted. And this... Time. Let's try to be less petulant and annoying, all right? I'm hardly petulant and annoying. Agree to disagree. Huh. Huh. Uh. Something's there. What shall we do? 
Ugh, could pretend we didn't notice. Got you on. All right, let's go. These break zombies, they're everywhere. I'm sure they were nice people before, but come on. doing much. Now finish the job! Good night! Oh. You're 
Get to work then, eh? Huh. What's this? Not the most impressive find. Hey, a freebie's a freebie. Right. 